I, um, I went out this one morning and I found this piece of wood leaning up against my studio door. And I had no idea where it came from. Then I get a telephone call. Hey, Doris. I said, hey, how you doing? Oh, you're doing just fine. Did you get my gift? I said, what gift? He said, did you check your studio door? I said, oh, the piece of wood. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Where'd you get it? Oh, don't ask. I said, come on now, I'm asking. Where'd you get the piece of wood? Well, we had experienced a fire and, um, and we were going through this park after we put it out. And I happened to notice this, and it was sitting up pretty high, and well, I figured you might like it. So I had him back the truck up, got the chainsaw out, and I cut it off. I said, you took this from a pot? Are you crazy? And you put it against my studio door? Do you realize how much poop I kind of gotten myself into? So he said, no, no, I didn't tell anybody. I said, I'm going to run out there right now and put it away. So that's where this piece of wood came from. And, uh, and it just sort of sat drying out in the studio. Whenever I looked at it, I would just sort of smile and chuckle at this guy and, and shake my head. However, when I began to go through what I was going through, this was the piece of wood that spoke up and said, I am. This is my identity, like clay Mary. on a potter's wheel. A fellow named Phil Stacey. Taking form Phil. as my life keeps this spinning around, so spinning around. Changing shape with these hands and expanding with every breath. I come closer to free each time I hold it close, each time I take that step. There's something about living material that touches me deep within. It has such a history. You can see where it's grown. You can see where it's vulnerable. You can see where deviations in its experiences have taken place. And as a consequence, uh, it has changed certain colors, uh, depending on what was in the air at the time, what was in the water at the time. I enjoy working with youth. When I was growing up, the primary person that I spent time with was my mother. We didn't have a television set, but we had mom, and mom could tell a mean story. And I think a lot of, of what I do now comes from the fact that mom would tell us those stories, and I could visualize what she was saying, and I can carve them, no problem whatsoever. Everything that, that, that I've experienced with uh, mom, the Air Force, the positives and the negatives as a result of having grown up in a, an environment that um, is very hostile, it was a ghetto, they all have had you know, its effects on me. Now, um, as I've moved into my, um, the winter of my years, as it were, <laughs> I, I just find that um, there's a greater emphasis on going into the schools and, and helping the kids and sort of understand what I do and to, to enable them to do uh, some of what I do in terms of, of carving. Home Place is all about change and uh, the changes that we have to really affect in ourselves. Uh, there's a portal on top of the hill. And that's based on the Hopi native uh, belief that we can return to Mother Earth and we really re be reborn. So it's about rebirth. Um, and, and as we're going through this rebirth, then we're able to, uh, we have the opportunity 
uh, to say this is what I would really like to be. These are the changes I'd really like to make. And, and also, these are the commitments that I'm making to myself. I have brought a portion of my cycle to them, the Air Force, Mom, the conversations, the story, and now they're spinning cycles through their own artwork and they're beginning to affect how other people see them. But then going beyond that, beyond that, I've moved off of the need to have an existing story beyond myself. So when you look at this piece, you see this old man, and uh, he's um, he's sort of struggling. He's uh, on the one hand, you know, he's he's holding on to something which is uh, which flows like water, which sort of cools the heat, but then there are flames coming up here, and so. I've used a character, I'm using a character to reflect something that I went through. And, uh, and it helps me get through whatever it is that I'm going through. Just as a writer will sit down and write about something, or um, a musician will sit down and create a, a composition on um, the piano, or, or perhaps a song, I create it with form. One day I'm gonna breathe a huge sigh of relief Because I'm gonna give back all the good in my life that I have received And now I'm standing here doing my thing I wanna know if you're doing yours Can you hear that voice in your core? Is there more way down? This is my identity, like clay on a potter's wheel. 